Now, Northwestern University chemists have developed a new catalyst that quickly, cleanly, and completely breaks down nylon 6 in a matter of minutes without generating harmful byproducts. Even better, the process does not require toxic solvents, expensive materials, or extreme conditions, making it practical for everyday applications. At this great age, putting a date on fines is very challenging, and we used luminescence dating to do this. These new dating methods have far-reaching implications allowing us to date much further back in time, to piece together sites that give us a glimpse into human evolution. melting of glaciers, rising sea levels, extreme heat waves, the consequences of climate change are more visible than ever, and the scientific community has confirmed that humans are responsible. Yet studies show that a third of the population still doubts or disputes these facts. The cause is disinformation spread by certain vested interests.
The Social Value of Offsets SVO, is an economic framework that will help policymakers calculate how much carbon should be stored in temporary offsets to make it equivalent to a permanent CO2 emission. Using the SVO metric the researchers estimate that an offset sequestering one ton of carbon for 50 years is equivalent to between 0.3 to 0.5 tons permanently locked away. The study across three countries led by the Department of Psychology's Dr. Paul Hainel discovered people who prioritized achievement over enjoyment were less happy on the next day. Whereas those who aimed for freedom said they had a 13% increase in well-being, recording better sleep quality and life satisfaction. Relatives of starfish, brittle stars spend most of their time hiding under rocks and crevices in the ocean or burrowing in the sand. These shy marine creatures have no brain to speak of just nerve cords running down each of their five wiggly arms, which join to form a nerve ring near their mouth. This meeting has been hosted by a motivational speaker.
This meeting has been hosted by a motivational speaker. Our business is built on the network of alumni, friends, and partners. Our business is built on the network of alumni, friends, and partners. The students will have enough time to ask questions after the talk. The students will have enough time to ask questions after the talk. Each student has been given their own email address by the school. Each student has been given their own email address by the school. The bus right out in the front will take you to the station. The bus right out in the front will take you to the station. The information you need for this meeting is on the website. The information you need for this meeting is on the website. This Thursday is the last day for students to submit their fees. This Thursday is the last day for students to submit their fees. Students may not use calculators in the final exams. Students may not use calculators in the final exams. The subject is complex and difficult to explain. The subject is complex and difficult to explain. The final exam covers material from all class chapters this term. The final exam covers material from all class chapters this term. I would like the assignment less than 2,000 words.
I would like the assignment less than 2,000 words. The library is located on the north side of the campus. The library is located on the north side of the campus. Facts you read, hear, or study become memories through a process with three main steps. First comes acquisition, the moment you encounter a new piece of information. 
Each sensory experience activates a unique set of brain areas. In order to become lasting memories, these sensory experiences have to be consolidated by the hippocampus, influenced by the amygdala, which emphasizes experiences associated with strong emotions. The hippocampus then encodes memories, probably by strengthening synaptic connections stimulated during the original sensory experience. Once memory has been encoded, it can be remembered or retrieved later. Memories are stored all over the brain, and it's likely the prefrontal cortex that signals for their retrieval. So how does stress affect each of these stages? In the first two stages, moderate stress can actually help experiences enter your memory. Your brain responds to stressful stimuli by releasing hormones known as corticosteroids, which activate a process of threat detection and threat response in the amygdala. The amygdala prompts your hippocampus to consolidate the stress-inducing experience into a memory. Meanwhile, the flood of corticosteroids from stress stimulates your hippocampus, also prompting memory consolidation. But even though some stress can be helpful, extreme and chronic stress can have the opposite effect. Most of the world's ecosystems are the result of millennia of coevolution by organisms, adapting to their environment and each other until a stable balance is reached. Healthy ecosystems maintain this balance via limiting factors, environmental conditions that restrict the size or range of a species. These include things like natural geography and climate, food availability, and the presence or absence of predators. For example, Plant growth depends on levels of sunlight and soil nutrients. The amount of edible plants affects the population of herbivores, which in turn impacts the carnivores that feed on them. And a healthy predator population keeps the herbivores from becoming too numerous and devouring all the plants. But even minor changes in one factor can upset this balance, and the sudden introduction of non-native organisms can be a pretty major change. A species that is evolved in a separate habitat will be susceptible to different limiting factors, different predators, different energy sources, and different climates. If the new habitat's limiting factors fail to restrict the species' growth, it will continue to multiply, outcompeting native organisms for resources and disrupting the entire ecosystem. Species are sometimes introduced into new habitats through natural factors, like storms, ocean currents, or climate shifts. The majority of invasive species, though, are introduced by humans.
What do you call a part of a line that has a fixed starting point but no end point? What do you call a part of a line that has a fixed starting point but no end point? Ray. What do we call the two wheeled vehicle that is powered by a motor? What do we call the two wheeled vehicle that is powered by a motor? Motorcycle. What is the term for the involuntary shaking or spasm of a body part? What is the term for the involuntary shaking or spasm of a body part? Tremor. Who is a person that makes bread, cakes, and pastries? Who is a person that makes bread, cakes, and pastries? Baker. What is someone that can't see called? What is someone that can't see called? Blind. What is the name of the medical instrument used to examine the ear? What is the name of the medical instrument used to examine the ear? Otoscope.